low-grade gliomas, or LGGs, including astrocytomas and oligodendrogliomas with mutations in the isocitrate dehydrogenase, IDH gene, are locally invasive brain tumors with distinct clinical and molecular features. Diffuse gliomas in adults cannot be cured by surgery, but surgical removal or resection of the tumor is an important first step in the treatment of LGGs. It is unclear whether more extensive tumor resections are needed and provide additional benefit compared to less complete resections, particularly for oligodendrogliomas, which often respond better to chemoradiation. In a recently published retrospective cohort study, researchers have investigated how tumor type and the extent of tumor resection, EOR, influence long-term outcomes across 392 patients with IDH mutant grade 2 gliomas. The study found that the overall survival was longest in patients with astrocytoma or oligodendroglioma with smaller preoperative and postoperative tumor volumes. Conversely, the overall survival was shortest in patients with astrocytomas with larger preoperative and postoperative tumor volumes. Notably, resection of more than 75% of the tumor led to a significant improvement in the overall survival of patients with astrocytoma and oligodendroglioma. Furthermore, resection of 80% or more of the tumor significantly improved progression-free survival, defined as the length of a patient's life during which cancer does not progress. Interestingly, resection beyond imaging-defined tumor margins improved outcomes in some patients, particularly those with astrocytoma. Overall, these findings suggest that benefits of resection do not vary significantly across tumor types with respect to the extent of resection. Therefore, when treating LGGs, including oligodendroglioma, neurosurgeons may consider maximal tumor resection while preserving neurological function.